Now, this weekend in Brooklyn, we'll be taking action to stop the violence. And starting on Friday, the Central Brooklyn Violence Prevention Plan goes into effect. This plan has a twofold core to it. One, increased targeted NYPD mobilization. Two, community mobilization. Community members, community leaders, community organizations out in the streets making their presence felt, reaching young people in new ways. We have seen this in the recent days, the power of this approach. We saw in just the last few days, after tragedy, residents, leaders of bed Brooklyn, Save Our Streets, the extraordinary uh, cure violence organization, SOS bed out there leading people, showing them there was a better way. Council member Robert Cornegie, who you'll hear from in a moment, providing leadership. We saw it in Harlem on Saturday night the cure violence movement out in force, occupying the corners. This is the way forward. So again, two pieces to this equation. One piece, yes, we need to have more officers in the right places. So you'll see additional deployments in Brooklyn this weekend in Bed-Stuy, Crown Heights, key areas where that additional deployment will help. Carefully coordinated with the community. You're also gonna see a community effort that's gonna make a huge impact called Occupy the Hotspots, and that's a specific effort on Friday and Saturday in seven locations in central Brooklyn to go where the problems have been, and with that human presence, that community presence, stop the violence, led by the Cure Violence Movement, a crisis management system that has done so much to defuse violence and stop it before it starts. You're gonna see a lot of clergy out there this weekend. You're gonna see a lot of resources provided for young people. You're gonna see efforts to reach young people in new ways with a host of things they need, because a lot of this is providing our young people hope and opportunity after months of dislocation and trauma that they've gone through with the coronavirus. You're gonna see mobile trauma units out to provide that mental health support to people who need it in communities that have been hit so hard. All of these pieces start immediately over the next few days, then next week, the bed Anti-Gun Violence Task Force gets going, bringing together a host of community organizations and leaders with the NYPD to develop a 